Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see how to populate the value of one field based of another field using field sets in lightning record edit form. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So in this video, what I am going to do is, I am going to populate the value. So let's say I am going to put some value inside the description. Whatever value I am going to put inside the description, I am going to populate the same value inside the last name. So let's say if I am going to put test over here, same value automatically should get populated inside the last name. As soon as I am typing, the, typing this test, the same way, last name should also get populated at the same time. So let's jump into it. First of all, if you have not watched the previous video, how to use the field sets in lightning recorded form, I recommend you watch that video first so that you can understand what I'm doing right now. So right now what I'm doing is I'm getting the values. I'm getting each of this field from the field set and I have only one lightning input field which is getting iterated by each of the fields that I'm getting from the field sets. So that's the reason why we are able to see multiple fields over here which are coming from the field set. Now what I want is on change of this description field. I want that last name should also get populated. Now one thing to keep in mind is that I don't have a separate specific lightning input field for this description, right? I just have one description and automatically I just have one lightning input field and automatically based off that I'm getting all the fields available over here. I don't have a specific lightning input field for the description. But still to overcome this problem, what we're going to do is we are going to use on change and I'm going to name the function as handle change. And I'm going to copy and paste it inside the JS. Now, what I want to do is that somehow inside the JS, I should be able to recognize each of this field one by one. To do that, I'm going to use one more parameter named as name. And I'm going to give the same, that is field path, that is in, uh, uh, the label of the field to it. So value of the name will be the label of the field. Now this, can be used as a unique parameter. It can be something else as well. I'm using name, but you can use something else. I am going to use the name as a unique parameter in order to identify each of this field in JavaScript. Now, how I'm, how I'm going to do is first of all, as soon as someone is going to click on handle change, I'm going to use this dot template dot query selector all. And then I'm going to get all the lightning input field as soon as anyone clicks on any of the lightning field, any of the lightning field. I'm going to get all the lightning input fields. Now, as there are going to be multiple, I have to store inside all fields variable. And then I'm going to use a for each loop as there are going to be multiple fields. So that's why I'm going to use for each loop for each. Yeah. <clears throat> So whatever values, uh, as soon as the user is going to uh, change any of the field, okay, I'm going to get all the fields inside it. I'm going to loop over them one by one, right? Now I need to find out a unique parameter. In our case, the name of the field is a unique parameter, right? So I can see if I use alert current item dot name, if I use this, I should be able to get the label of the fields. So if I refresh now, and if I pass any of the value, like I am just passing the values first name. So automatically I'm getting the label, then I'm getting the next label, last name, then jigsaw, that is another label data com dot key variable field, active phone description. I'm getting all the lightning input fields. So how it's happening? As soon as I'm changing any of the field, I'm getting all the lightning input fields and I'm iterating each of the lightning input field one by one. Now what I want to do is I want to find specifically description field only, right? To do that, what we can do is instead of alert, I'm going to use if current item equals to equals to if it's description. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the value of this particular description. Okay, the value, whatever value that I have inside uh, of the description, I'm going to store it within a variable. Let's name it as a description. 
and I'm going to use the same variable at the bottom to store the value. This dot to get the value from that particular input field, I can use current item dot value. So what's going to happen is if my current item name is description, so if I'm iterating over the description field, I will get the value of that particular description field and store it within this variable. Now once that I've done it, if again I'm going to copy paste, what I want to do is basically whatever the value of description field is, I have to key, I have to populate it inside the last name, right? So I've got the value of the description. Now what I need to do is I need to populate the same value inside the last name field, right? So I'm going to use last name over here. If my if I'm iterating over the last name, what I'm going to do is inside the current value of that last name. I'm going to populate the description that I've obtained above. Right? So let's see now whether things are working or not. So if I'm going to type anything inside the description, same should get populated inside the last name. It's a test. See, as you can see, I am typing inside the description still things are getting populated the same things are getting populated inside the last name so just to give an overview what i'm going to do is what i'm doing is i am using an on change on each of this field okay for each of the field first name last name jigsaw all the fields on change is getting applied and as soon as i'm getting i'm making changes to these fields i'm using this function now using this function i'm getting all the fields that are available on my record edit form or the lightning input fields now once I've got it, I'm iterating over it one by one and I'm checking if I right now, if I'm iterating over the description, I'm taking the value of the description that is the value of this particular field. I'm taking this and I'm storing it within a variable called as this dot description or description. Now once that is done, if I'm iterating over the last name next time, okay, if I'm iterating over the last name, I'm taking the same description that I've got from this previous from this input box and I'm putting it inside the last name's value. So that's the reason why you're seeing whatever I'm putting inside the description, uh, the same things are getting populated inside the last name. So the same way, what you can do is based on one value, you can determine the value of some another field, even though you are using field sets. So this is how you can determine the value of a particular field based of another field using field sets in lightning recorded form. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel.